canvas all I ain't no Broadway girl, baby, yeah, don't get that shit twisted I keep a nine on my hip in case these bitches start tripping I ain't gonna call your mind in the middle Hold up, what? What the fuck? What is going on, guys? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be re reacting to some Ryan Upchurch in the middle of the night featuring Brianna Harness. This is off his uh, Pioneer album. And just like what I promised you guys, we are going to be um, doing a whole album review. If you haven't seen my Pioneer review or my Silver Circles review, uh, both links to those videos will be in my description below. So make sure you go check those out after you watch this one. Um, but anyways... Without further ado, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. I just want to stop it real, real quick, guys. If you guys don't know who uh, Brianna Hardness is, um, her father is a uh, struggle Jennings. Her great grandmother is uh, Jesse Coulter, who is, uh, who was married to a uh, Waylon Jennings, who is probably one of the greatest country music artists of all time. If you haven't heard his music, just go look it up. But anyways, let's get back to the shit. Okay, I'm charged. Oh, fucking K. First fucking bar out of his fucking mouth. He drops that fucking reference, man. That fucking Motley Crue reference. If you guys don't get it, I'm a one man Motley Crue with these girls, girls, girls. Referring to the situation that's going on with uh, Mickey and the rest of the Motley Crue, how they kicked him out. And now he's saying that they abused him and treated him like shit. Which you can easily tell that they've, they've done that. So yeah. Um, that's awesome. Kind of expected Upshur to do something. But that. Dude. Fuck yes. It's fucking. Let's watch that shit again. One man Motley crew With these girls, girls, girls. And my yeah. father string me along like some pearls, pearls, pearls. And my heart too big. I want. If you guys don't know what he's referring to about a twin turbo horse, we're referring to his Mustang, his 2014 GT Mustang. I want to love, 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 but I end up hating me even more, more, more. Then I end up downtown in a twin turbo horse, revving up my engine at some Broadway girls. And say you want to skirt some curves. I'm local to all gas and the heartbreak. Upchurch, his voice is just fucking amazing. Now, if you guys have been following him for as long as I have, you've seen his voice change and get better over the years. Now, his voice, when he first started singing on his song, Rolling Stone, now, it was amazing. It was fucking amazing. But now, dude, holy shit. But yeah, also, this is a good time for us to... Fuck yeah, baby. A real man's beer. Not that pussy ass Bud Light shit. Fuck Budweiser. Anyways, let's take the shit back. Say you wanna skirt some curves. I'm local to all gas and the heartbreak.
just another cool thing I noticed about this. It's cool to see Deardorff in there. If you guys don't know who Deardorff is, one of Upchurch's best buddies. They've been friends since they were both knee-out to a grasshopper. Deardorff has been there with, for Church through everything in his career. And uh, just so you guys know, Upchurch wrote this song, recorded it, filmed the music video while he was going through all the shit that he went through with his mom, buying those houses in his name, his other family members turning their backs against him and stabbing him in the back. He did all this whole album going through all that shit. Just imagine what Uptrish can do when he's not going through stress and he has a lot of time on his hands. Just think about that real quick. If he's writing bangers, masterpieces like this through stress, imagine what he's going to do when he's in peace. Living too fast to be anybody's second place Hold up, what? What the fuck? Brown artist, holy shit. I keep one in the chamber. I packed this nine with me. Let's just retake this back, guys. Because apparently I don't know shit. Let's just take this back and rewatch that. Am I mistaken? I keep a nine on my hip in case these bitches start tripping. I keep a nine on my hip in case these. I keep a nine on my hip in case these bitches be tripping. Hey, that's what I'm fucking talking about, Brianna. First church comes out with a fucking, fucking badass Molly Crew reference, and then she drops this fucking bar. Boy. I mean, it's no surprise. I mean, you see what her father is drug. Man, he's fucking... With the fucking bars as well, dude. That's I was not expecting that from her. <laughs> but at the same time, not surprised either. Ain't no Broadway girl, baby. I don't get that shit twisted. I keep a nine on my hip in case these bitches start tripping. I ain't gonna throw your phone in the middle.
Well, if you're a fucking pussy and you stay through all the fucking way, then I guess we know that you're a real, real man, you're a real woman, you're not a pussy. So go ahead and leave this video a like if you like this reaction. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what other artists I should react to. Um, I know a lot of you guys have said Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. Don't worry. I got those guys coming next. Um, but anyways, hope you motherfuckers have a great Thursday afternoon. I'll catch you motherfuckers later. Oh, wow, that was depressing. God damn it. You know what? Catch you all later, motherfuckers.